selecting vehicles to post. Write that down, come with me. So, after walking my inventory, I went outside, I wrote down what I wanted to post. I come inside, guess where I'm at? I'm going into the sales tower, what do I do? Number one, if you got a keyboard, you look up the keys that you want, you grab them. You grab them, you're about to go photo them real quick. It only takes a second, okay? That's gonna be number one. Number two, maybe you went out to trade row, right? See this? You got the key ring, you know what I'm saying? And what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab the key ring, you're gonna grab a couple, one or two trade-ins that just came in on trade row, and you're gonna go photo them real quick. Look, maybe some dealerships are like, hey man, we don't want any of our trade-ins photoed until they go through service. This is off limits for you. But if you can do it, I say the early bird gets the worm. Go take some early pictures of it. Put it out there, call it the early bird special. Listen, there's a butt for every seat, okay? On that car out there, that customer is out there looking for that car, I assure you. Now, if I've posted all the cars that I have, I need to get, get all my trade-ins posted. Now, if you haven't posted anything out there, there's no sense in just digging in the trades. Go get some of these beautiful, nice frontline, you know, ready pieces posted. But some of your best pieces and your best trades come in every single day, they're right here on the key ring. And a lot of the times, I wanna say this to you, Let's say your, your store starts at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., you can walk in and you can try to grab these keys, okay? But there's a pretty good chance at 9 a.m. that somebody is coming through, your managers, everybody included, and they're gonna grab these keys. If I get here at 8.30, these keys are here for me to grab. Be early in your store if you wanna post your fresh trades. No one's moved the cars from the back, no one's moved the keys. It's very easy to slide in early, fly under the radar, get this done if you can do it in your store. I would recommend sliding in a little early. Now, let's talk about how to select vehicles. Follow me, come on. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So, we're going out here and I see this truck. You see this truck out here? Okay, zoom in. You see that charcoal gray tundra right there? See it out there? That truck's got nice wheels on it, right? Well, let's say I'm in Texas, I'm in Oklahoma. I'm in a place where it's cold. Maybe there's bad weather. What do I want? I wanna take, and I wanna take trucks that got what? Nice wheels and tires on them. If you got them, post it. Find neat pieces. Think about this right now. What is something that you've gotten a lot of calls on lately? Look, if we were to take the market right now, take the whole market and we were to put it into a pie chart, I would say 80% of the market is looking for $20,000 and under cars. 80%, 20,000 and under. The other 20%, they'll buy all the expensive neat stuff. So my goal is, is that if you're looking for something to post, don't go post a $65,000 truck unless it's a diesel, four wheel drive, you know what I mean? It's got a high demand in your market. There's no sense in going into that expensive of a vehicle. Why? Because if you're posting $65,000 trucks, I mean, how many of your customers can buy that unless you're in a, you know, like an Audi, a Mercedes or a Bugatti store or something. I'm just saying like, you know, you're gonna wanna um, appeal to the $20,000 and under car unless it's unique and rare. What is unique and rare? So a 2011 model with 50,000 miles, that's rare, right? A 2021 model, a 2020 model, with 80,000 miles, that's rare. Because that 2020 will be one of the better priced vehicles on the market just because it's got miles. That's a great piece to put out there. Also, an older model with lower miles is a great piece to put out there. Even though it's pre-owned, it's new to the next person. Those are what I mean by finding unique vehicles. Also, maybe you live in a, a nice place and you've got convertibles. So Camaros always do great. Anything under the 20 grand range is phenomenal. Pickup trucks on the internet are the best thing that ever existed. I'm just gonna tell you, look for stuff unique. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.